In the nanotechnology lab, we use various nanomaterials such as carbon nanotubes to enhance material properties. Hi, uh, my name is Ben Stein. I'm a graduate student here at the Mechanical Engineering Department. And seated here next to me is our chemical vapor deposition chamber, which is currently running an experiment drawing carbon nanotubes. Uh, we have a liquid precursor that is injected. It's a combination of a carbon feedstock and a catalyst solution. Uh, it is then evaporated and mixed with the carrier gases of argon hydrogen and then injected into the furnace where it is reacted at 860 degrees Celsius. The pyrolysis oven serves as a platform for the conversion of composite and nanocomposite materials into ceramic composite and nanocomposite materials. This process which is accomplished under positive pressure in an inert atmosphere, utilizes temperatures reaching as high as 1200 degrees Celsius. We then verify these enhancements with various testing methods such as dynamic scanning calorimeter which measures the degree of cure by analyzing the heat of reaction. And also that the dynamic mechanical analyzer which measures the glass transition temperature. We also use tension and single edge notch break ASTM testing methods to determine other various mechanical properties of our enhanced materials. Hydrogen fuel cell is a device that burns hydrogen fuel to produce electrical energy. In hydrogen fuel cells, the polymer electrolyte membrane is made of nafion. Anode and cathode are primarily made of platinum nanoparticles supported on carbon-based materials such as carbon black. In the nanotechnology lab, we use anode and cathode made of carbon nanomaterials to take advantage of properties like high surface area, electrical conductivity, hydrophobicity to manufacture highly efficient hydrogen fuel cells. We utilize the manufactured carbon nanotubes in various projects and real world applications such as our electric vehicle. These enhanced composites make the vehicle stronger and lighter than if it only utilized your standard composites. The electric vehicle is just one example of how this nanotechnology can be applied. This technology can be used in a wide range of applications to make stronger, lighter, and more efficient wind turbine blades to better boat hulls all the way to stronger and lighter aircraft components and just to enhance composite applications in general.
carbon nanotubes are incorporated into a proprietary technology called nanoforest. 